I got the chance at some point to realize how such a space maybe can really produce something which is really beyond of, I don't know, just being at home, but really creating, you know, the atmosphere for producing certain discourses that cannot happen outside, neither in museum, neither in cafe, but it's just the vibe of uh, everyone that is putting uh, in this familiar space that allow to I don't know, to free ourselves in certain um, directions. Sometimes, you know, we are, have this modernist idea that when we do something, you know, then, you know, it has to do forever, you know, and how you maintain it. And, and is it then maybe the question can be answered more personally in the ways in which we maybe have to somehow unlearn and relearn the ways in which we understood those processes as they are without being afraid that things also end. Yeah, this kind of Pontecroce and to keep it going is just a non having a point, like not stating anything but what uh, the person involved in that happening or in that moment was um, willing to yeah, put on the table and share we should think about our own self-sustainability, not the project. The project should, should not be, we should not think how we sustain the project. We should think how we sustain ourselves. So eventually, maybe not this house, maybe a house in a place that you would never even imagine you will be there. But the moment you think about your own self-sustainability, and then suddenly, I, I promise you that you will see that these dots are connecting together. I was really moved by the idea of getting, or like being invited to host in not my own home. Um, and I definitely noticed that kind of fluctuating relationship that um, Tobia has in the space as like always kind of, yeah, moving between that guest host. And I think, or you're talking about like temporality and or cycles, and I think there's still kind of a, a, or finding that constant or that sense of continuity between moments of temporality. I wanted to link um, environmental pollution in, in the Netherlands, um, and that was important for me to kind of uh, rediscover my landscape and my bond and my family history to that particular land that was so like uh, estranged to and connect that to a history of colonialism, which is very far away from the Netherlands. It's in Australia in this particular case, but show how those two are linked. And through permits, I was able to trace back how this um, river pollution in particular was linked to zinc extraction on a land which was dispossessed um, during uh, the colonization of Australia. Um. And so, like, uh, we need to enact this uh, recosmization to save ourselves from our destruction. Uh, we were a bunch of children, and uh, there was a bunch of basic musical uh, instruments in the middle. We were picking one, and together we were building up, uh, up a reef.